Coming up, a new quarter filled with new faces on Titan TV, a spotlight on poetry thanks to National Poetry Month, an interview with our top wrestlers, and of course all of this week's news and so much more. You're watching Your Titan TV by students for students. This is Titan TV, coming to you live on tape from Northside Middle School, Studio 105. Today is Monday. Welcome back, Titans, to our NMS News broadcast. We have missed you the past couple of weeks, but we are happy to be back on your screens. With that said, let's get to the news. April and May are testing months here at NMS. We will have the iLearn practice test on April 7th. On Wednesday, you will go to your fifth period class before breakfast, attendance, and announcements, and then you will be released to your testing room. Remember to bring your charged Chromebook to school every day. You will need it during testing. Please turn off your cell phones and other electronic devices and place them in a provided crate while you're in your testing room. Snap codes for registration for next year were sent home last week. Please encourage your parents or guardian to fill out the online registration so you're able to receive a card that allows you to use your cell phone out during lunch every day. The Titan store will be open April 9th. Students with no referrals and less than three Titan tickets during the third nine weeks will receive a ticket for a free item. Now check out the clubs and after school activities that are meeting this week. If you are staying after school for a club, remember to go by the cafeteria to get an afternoon meal. Then go straight to your meeting room. If you are not staying after school for a club or practice, please get your meal and go home. Now it's time to hear who our teachers of the month are. For sixth grade, we have Mrs. Teal. For seventh grade, we have Mrs. Jackson. And for eighth grade, we have Mr. Denniston. And our special area classes teachers of the month, Mrs. Church. Congrats to all those teachers. We have so much more news to report, but first, let's hear what the weather looks like from this week. Liam? Thanks, Brandon. Today, we will experience a heat wave with temperatures in the high of 70 degrees and the low of 48 degrees. The rest of the week looks to be much of the same with temperatures in the 60s and 70s, but look for cold temperatures the evening and early morning on your bus ride. Today is National Flash Drive Day. This one goes to all of you cool cats that are stuck in 2009. Enjoy listening to Miley Cyrus the climb on your 8 gigabyte flash drive. Now it's time for sports with ya boy, Drevin. What's up Titans? It's time for sports with Drevin, hosted by me, yeah boy, Drevin. Today we are doing something a little different. We are interviewing Gabe and Quentin. Hey guys, thanks for joining us in the studio today. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. So, you two competed in the Northside Middle School Duels qualifying tournament. Can you tell our viewers what that was? Because it sounded like a pretty big deal. Oh, it was just a tournament. Sounds fun. So, let's get to the results. Quentin, you finished in third place. That is fantastic. Describe your match for us. Was it pretty tough? Uh, yes, it was. I was facing number one and number two in the state. And the number two kid in the state, I, I was played. I was ready for him because like he did a move I didn't know how to get out of. 
So like he had my arm like this and he swim like underneath it. So like I had my arm the whole time like this. And he does a whole nother move I don't know how to get out of. So like Yeah, you did good though. Thank you. Then Gabe, you finished in first place. Tell us about your match, Gabe, and how you came out victorious. It was pretty busy. Had it in the first period. That's it. So back to, to Quentin. Third place sadly leaves you one spot from being on the national team. I'm sure you are a pretty little bummed out about that, but are you still proud of your season? Because third place is super impressive. Yeah, I am proud because like, I'm only going to get better over time. Like it's my third year of wrestling. So like, I plan like I'm going to beat them next year. Just the rub in their face, like, because they've been wrestling longer than me. Like I asked the kid, I think he said he was wrestling for like eight years. So I just want to beat them, that's it. Yeah, makes sense. Gabe, you are going on to being a part of the national team. What exactly does that mean? Wrestling people that are the best in the, the nation. So either or, both of you can answer this. What kind of preparation goes into these matches? Any weight training? Not me, I don't know about him. Sometimes. I want to get a little <laughs> personal with you guys. Don't be scared. Can you tell our viewers do you have any secret rituals you do right before a match? Like, do you have to listen to a certain song before competing or rub a rabbit's foot? Uh, I listen to a certain song. All right, guys. Congratulations on your season. And Gabe, we are cheering you on. Thanks for joining us in the studio today. That's all I have for Sports with Drevin, hosted by me, yeah, boy, Drevin. You're going to see my sissy in just a few minutes. But first, let's hear about our Titan birthdays for this month. Haley Grace? Thanks, Drevin. Here are the Titans' birthdays that we missed over spring break. Janelle C., JCL H., Olivia M., Isabel F., Alex N., Abigail M., Serenity B., Kelsey F., Dakota G., Akaya W., Xavier B., Najee I., Isaiah E., Shauna H., Jesse J., Drayden S., Shania T., Akayla D., Anaya O., Braylon B., Javion C., James P, Sylvester A, Keith B, Nautica S, Grace W, and Lucas K. And here are our Titans' birthdays for this week. Rihanna W, Sayla D, Emiliano R, Mackenzie P, Armani T, Jalen T, Jordan T, and Landon J. Now it's time for a trivia challenge. Last week's answers was Lily Singh and a little late with Lily Singh. Here is the new top five on the leaderboard. First is Gilbert's class with 35 points. Second is Teal's class with 30 points. Third is Jackson's class with 25 points. Fourth is Newman's class with 20 points. And fifth is Cardi's class with 15 points. Due to National Poetry Month, we will read a part of a poem and you will have to figure out who the poet is. Make sure to listen carefully and if you need to, you can go back and rewatch this part when the broadcast is over. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. Who wrote this poem? Send in answers to nmstitantv at gmail.com. Also, make sure to wait until the end of the broadcast to send in your answer. That's all for Trivia Challenge. Let's send it back to the news studio with McKenna. Thank you, Haley Grace, for that Trivia Challenge update, and thank you, Titans, for staying with us during this jammed-packed broadcast. Let's get back to the news. Congratulations to the Titan Choirs on receiving gold with distinction at their ISMA contest a couple weeks ago. Both Titans and Beginning Choir are the first to do this in Northside history. You can check out their performances on their YouTube channel and social media pages. We wish the Northside Blue Band good luck as they prepare to perform at Central for their spring clinic this Saturday. Make sure to catch their performance on April 15th at 7 p.m. right here on Titan TV. The NMS Student Council is holding a fundraiser for Second Harvest Food Bank this week. Second Harvest is the organization that provides the NMS Food Pantry with its monthly supplies. For a donation of a dollar, each day you could participate. Be sure to stop by the table across from the security desk between 9 and 9.15 to make your donation and participate each day. Students participating today received a neon green ticket to be able to enjoy their favorite drink in class today only. Sheesh! 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 This is what it looks like. <laughs> Be sure to bring your dollar tomorrow to participate in Backwards Day. The rest of the week includes PJ Day on Wednesday, Hat Day on Thursday, and Friday is cell phone at lunch. 
The Student Council will also be hosting Spirit Week May 10th to the 14th in celebration of our 8th graders as they prepare for 9th grade at Muncie Central. There will be daily prizes and overall winners for each grade. Please watch Titan TV and Schoology announcements for details on how to participate and vote for the winners. Now it is the time you have all been waiting for. Here are our Students of the Month. For math, we have 6th grader Asia R, 7th grader Brixby C, and 8th grader Lexi E. For PE, Health, and IT, we have 6th grader Ashley J, 7th grader Logan D, and 8th grader Brandon W. For Social Studies, we have 6th grader Aubrey C, 7th grader Lewis H, and 8th grader Lakin S. For Fine Arts, we have 6th grader Michaela B, 7th grader Emmeline J, and 8th grader Luca P. For Science, we have 6th grader Kennedy S, 6th grader Ariana D, 7th grader Abby L, and 8th grader Maddie R. Congratulations! For ELA, we have 6th grader Johanna M, 7th grader Michaela T, and 8th grader Corey D. Finally, for Spanish, we have 8th grader Hannah B. Go Hannah, okay! Congratulations to all of those students. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. And with that, our broadcast has come to another end. Our Titan TV crew has been very hard at work behind the scenes, so check out those names at the end. Also, make sure to check out our social media pages and smash the subscribe button on YouTube. From all of us here at Titan TV, I'm McKenna, and this has been your NMS News by students for students. Stay classy, Titans! I'm tired. My calves hurt. Can you tell us our view? Mm. Restart! I can't stay the stable. This is what it looks like. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> okay, go from that thing. This has been a, and sometimes, production.